Assalamu alaikum and good day everyone. I am Slima Safar and I am going to continue the discussion of my partner Jamila Asinda about the oral situational approach. But I will be focusing on the, the rules of the teacher and the learners as well as the advantage and disadvantages of the oral situational approach. So, teacher's rules in oral situational approach. So, teacher should check the pronunciation, grammar, and structural error during drilling. When the teacher uh, demonstrate different strategies of teaching, like for instance, the teacher so show some pictures to the students and well, supposedly it's, it's her duty to provide a material naman kasi uh, siya yung nagtuturo and in order to understand what uh, what he, uh, he or she teach to her learners and then uh, in in such wo- uh, example for example for that is that the wall chart flash card poster pictures and so on that provide as a material but most of all is this the teacher is expected to uh, have mastery over prescribed textbook because she or he serve as a model in the classroom also the teacher must be skillful and active kasi nga siya yung model siya, uh, siya yung foundation ng isang ng mga bata nakasalalay sa kanya yung uh, learn, learning ng mga bata, yung knowledge na makukuha nila. So, the learner's role in, in oral situational approach. So, the learner, as, as long as she or he listen carefully and actively for what teachers is saying and respond the question asked by the teacher and know how to situ- situationalize the structures and meaning so the class is teacher controlled and hence students has to do chorus like repetition dictation dictation drills oral based read oral based reading and writing exercise peer practice and group works so, for that, yung mga bata, madali nilang matututunan yung mga uh, tinuturo ng mga teacher kapag naka-focus sila sa tinuturo ng teacher. So, according to the behaviorist theories of learning is based on the principle of habit formation, mistakes are banned so as to avoid bad habit formation following the premises of behaviorism a teacher present language orally then in written form so dapat rin is yung mga yung bata o yung, yung learners mga students is makinig sila ng maayos so let's move forward to the advantages of oral situational approach suitable for instruction to language oral production without risk and accessible method for teaching if they have good curriculum it is a method that does not require many resources it uh, is a good method if we use it in teaching pronunciation or vocabulary its strong emphasis on oral practice, grammar, and sentence patterns comfort to the institution of many practically oriented teachers. Still, uh, it is an att- attract- attractive to many teachers who still believe in the structural practice of language. Moving forward for the disadvantages of oral situational approach, 
a boring teacher who is not sure about his teaching. The learner has no control over the content of learning. He is uh, required to listen and repeat what the teacher says and to respond to the question and com commands. This method do not account for the fundamental characteristic of the language, namely the creativity and uniqueness of individual sentences. So, kapag yung bata, hindi, hindi talaga siya na, nag-focus doon sa itinuturo ng teacher or yung teacher naman is boring siya magturo, wala talagang matututunan yung bata. Like for example, hindi siya nag na, hindi siya nag-provide ng mga materials na ipapakita dun sa mga bata. For example, may pinakita siyang picture. So, uh, the teacher going to say, this is the pictures. And when the learners do not respond for uh, to what teacher says, it is useless. So, that's the dis disadvantages of the oral situational approach. Kasi, madalas yung mga estudyante, hindi yan sila nakikinig pag orally. So, many premises underlying the approach have been criticized. Uh, for example, according to Chomsky, 1957, showed that the structural and behavioristic approaches to the language are simply unfounded as they do not explain the fundamental features of language learning. For that, the children do not acquire their mother tongue through repetition and habit permission. So, kailangan talaga is yung teacher, yung teacher talaga is active and he or she know how to interact with her or his student. So, that will be all for my report. Thank you for listening.